This is the lock picking lawyer. I'm working my way through the package of locks that Rick from the UK sent to me. And today we'll be trying out this Gigi. I have one key for it, pretty good bidding. Works very smoothly. Before I start, I should note that I'll be using different picks from what you are used to seeing on my channel. I picked up a couple of these Southord Max picks in 23 thousandths. I had heard some good things about them and wanted to try them myself. They're a little on the pricey side, so I just got three of them in the, uh, in the hook profiles that I thought I would find useful. I'm going to use this one for this lock. You may think it looks familiar as it's very close in profile to the seven hook that, that I enjoy using. So I'm going to use some top of the keyway tension. A 40 thousandths pry bar fits in there nicely. And, uh, and let's get to work. Okay, one's loose. Okay, a couple picks at it, or clicks at it two. Couple clicks out of three, and it went springy. Because of the counter milling on the top of the of the chambers and the plug, usually the Gigi pins will go springy after you have them close to set, which is a good indication that you've you've finished dealing with the ser serrations in the pins that many Gigi's have. Okay, one still springy. Another click out of two. Click out of three. Little click out of four. Another click out of five. Okay, a couple clicks out of one. Nothing from two. Click out of three. Click out of four. Little click out of five. Another click out of one. Click out of three, four. Nice click out of five. Nothing out of one. Nothing out of two. Nothing out of three. Click out of four. I heard some things drop. Nothing out of five. I think we're close. Hmm. What is holding us up? Okay, I'm going to lighten tension up. Maybe there's something here that I'm just giving too much tension for it to drop. Okay, click out of one. Nothing from two, nothing on three, four, and five. Okay, that guy gave me a little bit more of a struggle. I picked it a couple times before I started this, but that's the way locks can be. Let's, uh, let's gut this and I'll show you what's inside. Okay, let's see. Okay, dropping these key pins out. Standard, 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 and standard. The plug, I'll give you a close up of it shortly, but that has counter milling in all five chambers. Let's get these driver pins out. Gigi's known for some deep serrations in its driver pins. And these pins are exactly what we would expect in a Gigi lock. Uh oh. Okay, these springs are getting in the way. Okay, nothing unusual I can see in the core. Okay, let me give you a close up of everything here. Okay, all of our key pins are standard. All of our driver pins are the GG serrated pins that we're used to. So you can see from the key, we've got some high lows, nice bidding. And then if we take a close look at this core, 
you can see some counter milling on the top. It's actually a good thing and a bad thing. It's good when you first start picking the serrations because as soon as you hit that counter milling, each, uh, the chambers each go springy again. So that can be a very good indication that you have all the serrations dealt with. It makes it a little bit more difficult because after all the, the driver pins are dealt with, the serrated pins, you need to go through and give everything a, an extra nudge or so. So that's it for now. Rick, thank you again for this lock. To everyone else, if you have any questions or comments, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.